All right, let's make a formal introduction for our listeners. Good morning, CV. Uh, my name is Claudia. I'm calling you from Washington, D.C. Uh, from the studios in Fairfax City, we're very humble and grateful that C.V. Preisner accepted our invitation to our show. C.V., welcome to the show, man. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much for the invitation. Oh, no problem. C.V., in the last two years, as you know, right, we've been living with, with COVID and in a crazy world. Um, you know, if you're a touring musician, you cannot tour. Many careers of many musicians stopped because they they needed the income to tour and they're not touring and, and so so forth. You, in a sense, are different because you do a lot of studio work, a lot of soundtrack work. So it, it, it's affected, but not much. How you how you hold it up? How what how you manage it during the pandemic, man? Uh, listen, <clears throat> before the the the, the vaccines, you know, I have COVID. I passed COVID. Yeah. Very heavy, you know. I have problems with my with my ear now, you know. I was in the I have operation after with a seams here. Uh, uh, then you know, I spent at home in Poland finally because it was impossible to move from Poland because everything was closed almost two years. And I think something for me, it was fantastic two years. Yeah, I, mean, I stopped, you know, my career, you know. I stay at home, you know. I enjoy my enjoy. Okay. Let, let's say enjoy my life, you know, in the in the country with my dog and with my cat, uh, my family. Um, and during this time, you know, uh, you know, because I record this album not to play with Lisa, uh, that was in 2016. Uh, the principal, the main main recording, her voice, you know, with my improvisation. Then, you know, I spent time in my studio. Fortunately, I have studio, you know, in in my in my, in my home, you know, very good studio, analog, of course. Neve console disc, you know, and all this uh, lexicons to 124 for other 80. I'm really, you know, the the fan of of, of analog, not for you know the, the 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 digital, you know, recording. Then there was the good time for me. It was very effective, and I come, yeah, I finished this uh, this, this album. Uh, also during the COVID COVID virus time, I record music for a Greek movie, uh, Man of God. Uh, yep. of, of everything was delayed, everything was postponed, you know, everything, nothing works, you know. Normally, you know, we spoke with him, I, I talked with film director face to face, I visit him in the, you know, in the editing room, or he's visiting me in my studio in Poland. And this time it was impossible, it was only a conversation like between us here, you know. Yep. And, you know, I tell you something, this is the positive uh, face and the, and the negative because the positive is that it's very easy you know i don't need to go to uh, to new york or to washington you know to talk to you but at the same time you know there's something uh, this is not human for me you know for i like very much if i am you know face to face with the journalists or the film director of the my musicians you know yeah. everything. but this is the life you know uh, we are yeah we are we are in we are living now in new world completely new world yeah, uh, for, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. But I'm, 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 I'm happy that you were productive during the during the time. For me, the pandemic was in a way great, you know, quote unquote, because a lot of people died here. But um, because I opened the radios, I opened one, I sent the link to a friend, they like it. Then I thought, well, all the musicians must not they are not touring, must be at home. So I opened the YouTube channel, and now I have it to be over two hundred people. So I'm very happy. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. And, uh, yeah. You know, this is something different between me and, and tour musicians because, okay, I made the concert, but not a lot. Uh, you know, I'm a composer, I compose music for film or for my own, own project. That for me, the silence was really good. Very absolutely, good. absolutely. Of course, after I took, you know, the, the, the doses, you know, and, uh, and I'm, I'm good now, I think. Yeah. Sigi, uh, let, let's go to the beginning of your life. Were you born like in a musical? family i mean how old were you when you perhaps began taking like piano lesson or or guitar lesson or, or something <laughs> like that? yeah listen my life is uh really difficult and at the same time is really let's say fascinated you know because um, i was born in bielsko biala this is the small town in the silesia area in poland uh, i was in uh, you know in the main school mm, but there was the time, it was years, uh, beginning years 16. There was not the music school, you know, uh, you know, in this area. But unfortunately, in 68, my father, my family made the decision, you know, to move from Bielsko to a very small village 
in north in south of Poland, you know, there was no music school. They have no chance to go to the to, to the music school. I just finished, you know, the high school, then I go to the study the history of art and philosophy. But you know, from beginning, in my family music was very often. You know, the, the music was like part of my life. My my father, you know, there was a good singer. Amateur singer, completely, but very good singer. You know, I remember every you know, weekend the, 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 our 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 neighbors or our friends, our family came home. You know, we sing the songs. That the music was with me from very very beginning of my life. But when I was in the high school, I, I of course I have the rock group. I play guitar and you know, right. Then you know, I, but you know, when I when I start to 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 study, I you know, I was thinking myself maybe this is, uh, you know the the the. the I'll be not musicians because I have no education, nothing. I have no idea about the notes. Okay, I I took this few lessons for guitar playing, but when I came to Krakow, you know, to the study, and I was listening to the music, you know, there was the very popular Polish singer Eva Damarczyk. She's like Edith Piaf in, in in France, you know, very very famous. And I was listening, and I was thinking, almost the same composition I composed when I was in the high school. And I make the decision, okay, I, would, I want to be composer. And I spent two years, only two years, you know, to, to, to learn everything. You know, I'm a professional composer now, you know, I know I compose for the orchestra, for, for, for choir, for everything, you know. And uh, this is like, you know, start my career. And I tell you, maybe... There was no better way. Of, of course, if I would be in, a, in music school, I would play a better piano, you know, or something. But at the same time, you know, I don't trust, I don't believe this is any school, any high school, who can, who can, you know, the, teach the composer. The composer is something, is something very individual, you know. If you are young, if you go to high school and you have the prof of composition, who are, you know, famous composer or something, you always, uh, you always are on depression, or depression this composer, you know. If you are free, if you are, if your head, you know, is completely clean, then this is the time, of course, if you have talent and if you know how to do this, how to compose music, that this is a good time, you know, to, 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 to propose something new and a new language, you know, uh, you are not, uh, you are not, uh, you are not, uh, you know, the, you have no obligation to follow somebody, you are fresh, you know, and I think, you know, that my career and my language, my musical language is original, I know is, you know, is very characteristic, you know, my language, my musical language. Maybe because I have no, and I was not, uh, I was not, any, I, I, I have not any, any fear, you know, to, 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 I was open, you know, I just, I just follow my taste, I just follow my, my, my imagination, that's it. And then uh, when you, you told your, your family, your parents, I want to follow most music, I don't want to go the, the real, the, the, you know, finish the school or get a job, a regular job there in Poland. Oh. They were supportive. They say, go for it with the music. Of course, my mother say, you know, just go. You must help us in the, you know, in the, in the, in the country, be in the countryside, you know, because in our farm, because, you know, the music, you can play music later, you know, first the work, first the job. And all of a sudden, you know, how you will live with the music, you know, you need, you know, the, you, you'll be an employer, you know, you need the retired money, you know, you have, uh, and I never imagined, you know, that I would be, yeah. I would spend my life eight hours every day in the same job. Uh, I was suicide, you know, myself, yes, for sure, you know. Yeah. But looking back now, uh, whatever, 40, 40, 50 years later, you, you are one of the Poland leading film music composer and, and considered to be one of the most standing of, of your generation. I mean, there are so many... Polish film composer and Polish uh, movie director, and you you grew up in a in a in the right environment, the excellent environment for you to you know grow up and, and learn. Although you didn't have like a formal education, you did pretty much like you say everything on your own. And you're not the best composer, the best piano player or keyboard player, but you you make music work for you, and you you have your own unique taste and and the work that you have done. And uh, it's it's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Thank you you look back, you look back one day in your life, <laughs> and you say, "Man, if you have listened to your mom when she say, no, don't do the music, get a real job, <laughs> go to.'" No, no, my mother, she's still alive. She's uh, ninety-four years old. She's ninety-four years old, 
And now, you know, she's so, you know, the proud, you know, that I'm composer. Oh. Now, because I help her, of course, she spent the holiday every year. Even now she was in, 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 in Turkey for the holiday, 94 years old, imagine. Uh, now, yeah, now, now, she, okay, big year, Zibi, you know, you know, is the, is the, no, she's very proud, you know, always, she's a very mother of Christ. You know. You're so right, absolutely. Uh, yes. Let me, yeah. Yeah. Of course, let me bring you to 2013 and when you released the album uh, Diaries of Hope, we began you your a close collaboration with Lisa Gerard and you end up performing in London and Shanghai. And feel free to feel free to tell the the audience the, the story of the album, what this album is about, how long did it take to the put album, it together? Uh, uh, Diaries of Hope, yeah. Yeah, Diaries of Hope, yeah. Listen, there was in 1990 Fifth, I think. We was with Christoph Kishlowski in uh, Jerusalem for Jerusalem Free Festival. And there was the, uh, and the, 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 the director of uh, this festival, he asked me to play concert for the opening of the festival. And there was the time, there was really very, very safe in Israel. There was the first time when Arafat came, you know, there was, it looks like, you know, like, you know, really very safe country. And the concert was in the, uh, in the open theater between old and uh, and new uh, Jerusalem, you know, and we we have invitation with Christoph to Mr. Shevak Weiss, who is the president of Knesset. Shevak Weiss is Polish Jew; he speaks Polish perfect. You know, he is now the prof in, 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 in also in university also, and he uh, he told us, you know, you must visit Yad Vashem. And we was in Yad Vashem in this uh, uh, child exhibition, you know, you go to the to the very dark, you know, the room, you know, you follow the line, and it's completely dark, it's like thousand candles, you know, who is uh, who is lighting. Uh, and on different the, the tape, you know, there was the, the there was on the name the victims, you know, in the Auschwitz you know, or in the world, like you know, Thomas uh, something, you know, five years old killed in Auschwitz. And that was unbelievable, you know. This tour was like about 20 minutes, I think. And we, when you go out, you are in the Olive's Garden with yeah. fantastic view to Jerusalem. And Christoph yeah. take my hand and told me, listen, you must do something with this. You must um, explain, you must compose something for for, for, for this uh, for these victims, for this child. And you know, and uh, then, you know, uh, uh, okay, then, you know, always was in my mind, but I have no idea how to do. And one day, you know, I tried to find in Poland any diaries of young people who was murdered, you know, in Auschwitz. And I found that, you know, the four, uh, four uh, Abraham, uh, what's his name, Abraham, uh, be, 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 mm, oh, I forgot, you know, he's in the album, uh, the, the, the young boy. And when I founded this, I, you know, I, I, I think myself, to myself, okay, now I, I know what I will do. Then I composed this music. Of course, I was looking for, you know, the somebody who will be, who will sing in the language, but not in the really in the language. Then of course, because I know, I really know Lisa Gerard and I asked Lisa to, 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 to be with me, you know, to sing with me. And that, you know, how, how, how we do this album. Even Lisa was not in, not in my studio. I record music in my studio. Then Lisa, she has rec she made the recording uh, in her studio in Australia. Right. Then, you know, we go to her studio to London and we mix everything together. There's, you know, how, how, how the, how, how the music uh, was born. And, and you know, of course, yeah, we played the concert. Oh, it was unbelievable. We, we was twice with Lisa in Shanghai. First time we play, yeah, twice we played the the the, the Aries of Hope. And you know, the the public reaction was unbelievable, unbelievable. You know, even in you know, China was far away from Europe. You know, the people That's doesn't right, know yeah. what is the Oscar ceremony. <laughs> what is the Second World War? Probably has not knowing any, any information. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that was that was fantastic. Then in London and in Greece and somewhere in Poland, you know. The album is, is unbelievable, and and I, you know, I know you have worked a lot with Lisa, and she she sings in in a very interesting way. 
in many cases, as she is creating her own language, you, her own local, their own, yeah. This is your vocabulary know, when she when when she sings. I yeah. Uh, everybody uh, asks me, you know, what kind of language she sings. Yeah, that is her own language. Because that's right. That's right. Yeah. Important if you work with her. Important is the title of the song. If you have title of the song, you know, yeah. hear me out. That you doesn't need any language. That's right. You yeah. can create in your head, listening this music, language, yeah. and words what you would like to to listen. Yeah. No, she, she's, it's unbelievable. I mean, the album that you work with her and the stuff with that can dance that she does uh, with with Perry, it there there there's unbelievable. She she's she's very unique in what in what she does, but it's unbelievable. And um, in the the other like also about the Darius Hope is the 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 long track is called Lament, which mm -hmm. is I think is 15 minute long, but you guys did a version. For the radio, I think for what five minutes long, yes, yeah. uh, it, I, I was listening to as I was preparing for the interview. Most of your album yesterday and the night before is is unbelievable. It is it, very emotional track. It I put my headphone, you know, I drink a coffee, water, whatever, and music take me places. I don't mm -hmm. play any instrument. I don't know how to read music. Nothing, but I, as I told you before, I've been listening to music for many many years. Uh, it is it, it very it very that track is very very emotional. It, it takes me places, man. It's, I heard, I don't know what music means or what where the music comes from in my brain, but I get very emotional with this stuff, you know. Yeah, I try to compose music for me and for a few of my friends. You know, if yeah. I would like my music, a few of my friends would like my music. Means maybe the music is important. If not, uh, and uh, yeah, but if, if not, you know. Uh, yeah, I just you know I just I just want to compose for me you know for for for, for me and uh, of course you know I know the story I know what I want to what I want to tell what I want to say for the people. Yeah, feel free to elaborate. In the album is not too late, and I'm very grateful that you sent me an advanced copy of that. And uh, yeah, I think the album was made by Change uh, a few years ago. Yourself and Lisa were in a small synagogue, and uh, and uh, I think as a hundred kilometer from Krakow, and she entered that, and I think she mentioned, you mentioned that to her, let, the, 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 the synagogue have a great acoustic, you say, let, let's try to do something together, feel free to elaborate on how, how it happened and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, you know, because, you know, I am very close friend with Lisa. When yeah. she's in Europe, we tour, and she has, let's say, one week break or two weeks break, she always came to Poland to my, to my home, at my home, you know, and we spend time. And I would like to show her, you know, the the the, the, the area when I'm leaving. And there was this small town, Bobowa. Uh, this is on south of Poland, eh, about 100 kilometers from Krakow. Uh, before the Second World War, the 85 percent of the population, there was Jewish population. After Second World War, there was no one who stayed. Everybody dead. Everybody killed, you know, by the Germans, you know, the Auschwitz or somewhere. And we was there, you know, and uh, she tried, you know, was fantastic acoustic. And she tried to sing something. And it was unbelievable, you know, how the voice, you know, was, you know, how the sound, you know, was in this place. We back home and I take Lisa, listen, I told Lisa, listen, uh, I have an idea. I will compose, let's say, seven, beginning, the, the beginning was thinking about seven prayers, you know, from Baboa. I will compose something. I will organize a recording session in this synagogue, but we, have, we will have never any rehearsals. I will play, I will show you when you to start to sing and follow, you know, my music. And there was, you know, the music, the voice, when you ask everybody who is in the album, uh, is, not too late, is not too late, is recorded during 45 minutes. There's oh only God. one time, nothing else. No, no rehearsal before, this nothing. No. Nothing Just enough. listen to my music and go. I was in the studio, I played tan ta 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 and she yeah. started it. That's it. That was in 2016. Then during the coronavirus, I back to this, you know, to this to, 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 to this recording. And I know that sometimes, you know, it's, con it's contradiction between the harmony and Lisa. She goes to some uh, sort of the different area of the harmony. I, you know, I was just keeping my harmony. Then I made the decision, okay, now in the studio, I will follow Lisa. The voice we have, okay. we have the, 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 let's say the major chords we have already, but I will follow, I will follow you. Yeah. And I, 
I, I recompose and recompose, uh, re record everything, you know, yeah. except her voice. The voice is this is the 45 minutes work. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's, un it's unbelievable. You think about it. No, no rehearsal. And then, you know, you, you put the music, she sing, and then you went back to the studio and you did the opposite. All right. Yeah. Forget the music composed. Let's start with this, your singing and put I the hope. music all over again. And then, it's, it's unbelievable. And I, I saw a, a very powerful, I think, I don't know if you have done all the videos, but I, I think that I saw the video on YouTube last night and it is very, very powerful. I mean, for the, for me, as I told you at the beginning, see, the image is, is very important. I mean, I can listen to, you know, I, there's some many soundtracks that I have, I know the music and I never seen the, the film and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, so I can enjoy music by listening to a, a you know film score for yours, right? Without ever seeing the music, right? Ever seeing the film. And uh, but when yesterday when I I listened to that particular track on on YouTube, it, it, the, the images are unbelievable. It's it's so beautiful, man. I appreciate it a lot more, you know. Something because you know there was there was my feeling, you know. I feel the something's coming to us very bad, you know. Yeah, very bad. And in this in this scenario, I ask you know my 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 my, my, my production to buy thousands of candles. I put yeah. the candles, you know, yeah. on, the floor. on the floor. I forgot the candles make the smell. And after forty five minutes, the scenario was full of of of, of you know of uh, of um, of uh, I would say uh, full of uh, the smell from the candles. You know, that's right. Yeah. Uh, and look at after you know, it was 2016 and now when we made the album it's not too late and I beg ah, uh, also you know during you know this there's a recording this this, this recording and filming I asked Jacek Petrycki he is the DP man from Kishlowski he's an old man you know he made together with Kishlowski all the documentary movies and our first movie with Christoph Noent he was the, the filmmaker the, 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 the DP man and you know he took the camera it was only one shot, the 45 minutes. Everything is during 45 minutes. And we have 45 minutes recording with Lisa. With Lisa, you know, in music and picture. And now, you know, I'd, always I'd like to work, you know, with the young people. It's the very young boy, in Poland, boy, because he's 19 years old. Now he will start to study film directing, you know, in Poznan. Um, uh, Anthony Olf. And you know what? And I ask him because, Yes, before he, he contacted me, would like to do make something with me, but he was 15. I tell him, listen, you are too young, you know, you are older, you know, you can you can back. Then when I when I do this this the, this project, I it reminds me, you know, about the Antec. And I call him Antec, do you have an idea? Come here, we will talk, I will give you all the materials. And he make the 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 if he make the the, the, the picture, you know, the the, the 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 script. And I think, you know, because he is young. He has the different, uh, different point of view. You know, he's he's something. He's something new. He's, uh, I like very much to to discover the new people. You know, to just you know to to to, to work with somebody who are not my age, who is younger. Maybe he has the better communication with young people because finally, okay, the old people. I don't need it, you know to convince you know what, what kind of music I compose. But for the young people, you know now how you say you know. It's, uh, Spotify uh, and something, you know, uh, 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 it's difficult, you know, to, 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 to sometimes, you know, to have the contact, right? The, yeah, young people, I hope I will have the contact. And that's it, you know, how, 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 how you're working. Next week will be next clip from the last uh, song we call, uh, the last song, the title is Intro Delight. Yep. I will do the last movie, the last, the, the next, uh, next video. Yeah, I, I I listened to all the track again last night. It, it, it's you know I think it's unbelievable. The album is coming up. I think October 14 next week, and uh, and it's for you know not everybody will have will, access to the album. But it's beautiful. You send your address. I will send you a physical copy because album already is in Poland. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, that would be great. And uh, what we li we live in a crazy world nowadays. You know, with Putin and destroying the world and so on and so forth. That that album is coming to you know at the at the correct time and the perfect time because 
I think I, I read somewhere that you describe your music with Lisa like a music is our weapon. It does not kill, but it resurrects and brings hope to life. It's a very way way to put it, you know. So, you know what? I think the very important uh, words now is the values. Values, you know. This word, you know, the values is not uh, as clear as a day, not for everybody. I think, you know, that we are living now in the in the world who is, uh, uh, who is strange, you know. It's very strange. I think that even um, we must this world uh, to rewrite it. It's something new. Everything is strange. You know, I think that there's, we have now the years of intellectual drought. You know, this is the, the, the uh, what, what I would like only, you know, to tell, to, to tell that we need something and a, and a purification is good words. Yeah, Pur purif yeah. Purification, you know, we need something who is the, um, revaluation, revaluation also yeah. the world, you know, and I think that this is the small stones to this garden, this, our album, you know, is important for me, it's important for my friends. And, you know, I'm working with almost the same people, for, like the sound engineer uh, in my studio, the few of them. Uh, and I know how I remember the reaction when we, when we finish recording this album and mixing this album in my studio. Everybody told me, you must release this album now. Now, even I was thinking, you know, release this album on the spring this time this year but after you know the 24th of february war you know the war putin against you know, the ukrainian i you know i stopped everything i was thinking this is not a good time to promote your art to promote your work at the same time with the people in ukrainian suffering you know the people kill the people you know if the you know if this the the the, the, the russia army you know as you know kill you know, everybody rap the woman, you know, kill the child, you know. Uh, I'm old man, I, I, you know, I remember, you know, the, the, I remember, you know, from the movie and from the history, Second World War. I think that for the Putin, this time now, is nothing changed for him. You know, he's not 21st century. You feel that he's, you know, in the middle of years of 20th century, you know, bombing everything, you know, don't care, you know, about the, 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 the victims, the civil victims, this is terrible. And I think you know that this album, you know, with this album, I would like to tell something for the, for the, especially for the young people, not for the old, not for the politicals, but for the young people. It's not too late. You must try to create in this world a new way. You must take care about the about the world. You must you must take care about your future, because if not, you know the 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 the. the uh, uh, if not, you know, uh, it would be difficult for the, you know, for, for, for your life in the future because I have no idea what's happened tomorrow. We have no idea. Today, listen, the, the, the bridge in the, in the, in the, in the cream, yeah. you know, imagine maybe it's to, was the movie, uh, one, one bridge too far, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, listen, really, we are in very, very difficult time. Yeah, absolutely, man. We I think we should we should send put in your your music, Lisa Gerard music, that contains music for him to listen and 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 see how beautiful the world is. It'd be a you know through through music, you know. Yeah, this is my compassion also, you know, to the to the Ukraine to, to the world finally because you know what's happened. Yeah. There's not only problem. Okay, there's the main problem now, the war in Ukraine. Mm. But you know, if you see the arts, if you see the artists, if you see what's happened with the arts, with the music, with the literature, you know, with everything, everything mm -hmm. is poor, you know. Everything is completely, completely poor. This is something, you know, uh, I don't know, it's no values, it's, uh, uh, the, you know, because it's easy access for everything that everybody would like to, to is thinking, okay, I am doing this, I compose this, I wrote this, I will make the movie like this. Because you know, it's thousand possibility to promote, you know, in the, in, the, in, the, in the social media, but it's no values. It's nothing, you know. You, I rem you remember our our you know young time, right generation. You know, when he was young, it was uh, how fantastic group was in the, in, in, in the world, like Pink Floyd, 
you know, the, the thousands of, of how fantastic movie, how fantastic movie was made in America. Mm. Godfather, Apocalypse Now. That's right. You know, how many good movie was made in Russia? Or the movie for Tarkovsky, for example. That's right, yeah. One of the best you know, film director. Cool. Uh, 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 and look what's happened now. Now we have Netflix for the films, you know, or I don't know what, different company. We have the Spotify, you know, okay, easy access for the audience. But for us, like the artists, this is hell. We are feel that we are a slave. You know, That's right. You, you make zero, poor, zero, that zero, 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 six oh, yeah, cents. Yeah, and, yeah, the, you know, and the order make the rest, you know, so. One million, for one million click, you have thousand four hundred, like the master rights, you know. Okay, the second is for the copyrights if you, if you, if you compose everything, you know. And look, at the same time, it there was maybe, you know, maybe, you know, I was foolish when I, when I, when I, when I saw this. The Spotify support uh, Barcelona for three years and he paid 350 million euro then the Barcelona is with Spotify, you know, the, the logo. In On the, the logo, place. yeah. Now listen, okay, he put the money, invest money for to promote his company, but from yes, from the beginning, you know, with the Spotify stand, our value, our, 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 you know, uh, our, the, 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 the rights, you know, is no higher. It's nothing. You That's know? right. What, you know, what does Spotify has? What he produce? Nothing. He is... We are like the slave. Imagine one day if they really, I hope this happened, you know, if the people, you know, if, they, if, they, if this, 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 his uh, politics, financial politics would be the same, maybe one day all the artists will say, we take off our music. Or Spotify, yeah. We see what's happened after one week. There would not be, Spotify wouldn't exist without the music, yeah. right? So listen, his value of the, of, the, of the stock market is about 70 something billion euro. Uh, 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 but he never split this money in the honest way, you know. Correct. Never. Yeah. At the yeah. same time, you know what? They all this the, the digital media, the, the platforms. He cut mm. completely CD market. Mm. CD market doesn't exist. Even I don't know how is in America, but in in Europe, if you buy a new car, there's no CD player, but it's Spotify. That's right. You know, and 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 you know the the. Years, you know, when I when I beginning my career, when I composed music for Double with Veronica, two colors, or record for my friend, I sold out, you know, millions of copies. And it was good for for us, good for me, because if I have any project, I can invest my own money, because if I trust my project, I was sure, okay, maybe you'll be now the huge success, and maybe I will see the money back. Today, if I must invest even ten thousand euro, I invest. Just for my pleasure, you know, because I know they will never ever see the money back. Yeah. So you do it because you like it, not because there's money there. You will never get paid to even recover that investment. Never mind making any money. Just record that investment. You spend whatever, fifteen thousand to do a new album and you do it for free pretty much. Because you yeah. like it. Yeah, because this is yeah, this is exactly as a second hand, you know, what you can tell for the young people for the start the career. Because no he's you know, on money, on money, you know, from, from, from the past, you know, if you yeah. are here and now, you know, how he will produce his album, you know, okay, I have my studio, I have everything, but the people, young people has nothing, you know, they don't have anything, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I can rent the studio and, you know, uh, uh, and pay for everything and pay for the musicians that they finally, you know, uh, there's no an economical reason. You know, the Spotify always in his story is, okay, that he promote the artist because the artist, because his artist can be, you know, be famous, then he made the concert. But now during the coronavirus, there was no concert too. <laughs> Nothing, you know. Only who help us, you know, there's the organization, the rights organization, I am in Sasa member and ASCA member, that the people help, you know, for any small project because we're not, there's no money. Yeah, no, absolutely. That for 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 the listener and the viewer in the interview, just get the album because it's not too late. It's a beautiful piece. I want to take you back to the Man of God, which is unbelievable album as well. And uh, feel free to now elaborate. Uh, that was that was, was written by yourself and Lisa as well. And uh, um, it's a soundtrack for twenty twenty one. So feel free to elaborate how that 
uh, it came together how long it took to do that album and the you know the soundtrack and so on and so forth so let's say again the, 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 the man of god the, that's yeah. a feel free to elaborate on how that came together and then listen uh, there was the, there's the, the the film director uh you know she's the young lady uh, from finally she was born in, in in serbia but she lives now here uh, here in, in greece um mm, she made the movie about San Nectarius. San Nectarius, this is, you know, uh, this is the symbol of Greek religious beginning years, uh, beginning this 20th century. Um, he's very famous in, in, in Greece, and he is, you know, uh, he's like, uh, like a god here, you know, like our St. Paul II was, you know, <laughs> previous time. And when she proposed, uh, uh, composed me music for, the, for her movie, um, I saw the 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 the, the, the rushes in Athens. There also, was the the, problem, the movie was a huge problem because it was during coronavirus. You must stop the shooting. Then they start the shooting. Then somebody was sick. No, listen, hell. And I compo- and I when I start compose music for this movie, I was sure that there must be any part, uh, you know, with Greek musicians, with the guy who played Kanonaki and with the Byzantine choir, you know. And f- fortunately, I met fantastic people in Athens, uh, uh, in the quarry, and also the the, 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 the the guy who played the Kanonaki. And we made a recording session between, the most recording session was in, in Poland with the orchestra in my studio, but also we ran the studio in Athens and we record the, the choir and, and, and the Kanonaki. And uh, yeah, and, and that's it, you know, the, the movie has huge success here in Greece and in Europe too, it's over 800,000 uh, people, you know, who buy the movie. Yeah. And you know, and the good movie, I know, very good movie. It's a very good movie. I, I, I noticed that um, Lisa uh, contributed to three tracks there, The Misery, Premonition, and I think Lost, and in the in the soundtrack that was released, the, there's one track that is missing. I think it's premonition. It's any way that can be put it back or be released, and or, or which 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 the pre- premonition premonition. It's not. I thought. I don't think it's. I don't. But you may maybe not remember. But I don't um, remember. No. Uh, I, I know only the in the in the track. Is yep. one is one more uh, it was one more song who is not in the movie. That's so right. Some nectarius. Because in the movie they told me no, maybe it's too much, you know. Also, you know, if you if you too, if you t- touch the religious, oh this is the problem, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was about who, you know, then, sure. then 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 the, I put this track uh, on, on, on my album and not not was in the film. But I don't remember there was something miss. I tell you, one part, the last part, the last voice of Lisa in this track yeah. is, the, is the beginning of track here in the album is not too late, is beginning, I think, number eight, Searching for a Lost World. Yeah. Part of the, of, of this music I, I, I use in, 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 uh, in, in this movie, Man of God. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I need to check it out. It's, uh, it's, it's as I say, that album is... Uh, it's a you know it's a beautiful album. And the two of you with Lisa have a good rapport, a good energy together to to keep on working together. Because some artists do one album or one session and there's no chemistry; they don't want to see one another again. But with you and Lisa have been uh, working together in many many projects, many albums, so the, which is which is great. Something if you if you enjoy your, your collaboration, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Pistolski now with Lisa, you enjoy. You stay, why not to change, you know? Okay, if you will be, everything has a limit, you know? How long, you know, we can make new albums, you know? It is sure. four albums together. And maybe it will be the last album. I, I have no idea what we'll do in the future. Um, yeah, but, you know, the, this is the this is the result that I have very good communication very, yeah. very with Lisa and uh, very warm, you know, and uh, and very open and, and sometimes very, you know, uh, very happy, very tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. The, I want to bring your attention to another great album. You are the from 2021. That I think it was remastered. Uh, the Double Life of Veronique. 
Mm-hmm. It's it's a beautiful. I I listened to the stuff last night again, and there are two tracks that it really it really they are very emotional. One's called uh, Le Marionette. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it, which is the most extreme uh, of or all your composition in, in in Spotify with like four or five million. And another one is the I think a track number four. I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, Band Band the Band- Band- Mayor. Concerto yeah. in miniature version 1979, 1798. I think it's sung by uh, El Cibieta. It's um, oh, her voice. Yeah. Oh, it's unbelievable, man. It's unbelievable. Yeah, thank you. You know, the music I composed for Double Life, uh, the main themes, yeah, there was the Van den Budermeyer and uh, Marionettes as something else. Uh, I composed the record before the shooting because Christoph needed, you know, for, for, for synchronization. And I remember when he saw me, when he, uh, when I got the script and uh, about the music, the main theme, you know, what, the, what she's singing on the stage, uh, the information was Veronica, she's singing beautiful song. And one day, there was no more my phone. I met Christoph and he asked me, what, what about uh, the song. I mean, which song? Uh, you know, you never, you know, read, you know, the script, you know, very precise. Here, uh, okay, uh, Veronica is singing very beautiful song. Uh, yes. But what about must be the song? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, tell me something. How long must be the song? I have no idea. Uh, what do you know, Christoph? That she must sing a beautiful song. Yeah. Then, you know, I was thinking, you know, it was like weeks. And one day, you know, I was thinking, maybe why not to take something from uh, the comedy, the, the, the comedy of the year, you know, the, the uh, uh, what, there was the part of the, of the hell from, from Dante Alighieri. That's right. And I find something in a phrase, one, you know, the, the sentence, and the second sentence was from Pregatore, I think, and I composed, and Christoph came, uh, with the Tomarinska, I know her already from my cabaret from Krakow, and she started singing, and Christoph, yeah, this is what we have. But you know, the, our first collaboration with Tomarinska was for the movie Decalogue, Decalogue number nine. Yeah. It was the first time Van den Budermeyer, because you know what, how, do, you know what is, who is Van den Budermeyer? That's my alter ego. Yeah. This my go, go, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, listen, there was like this, that Christoph wants to use uh, for the Decalogue uh, song for Mahler, Mahler, Germany. But, you know, there was no good recording. It was good recording, it was very expensive. There was, you know, years 18, we have no money for this. And I told Christoph, listen, I will compose something, you know, and it's something in a different style. I will see what's happened. If you like it, then we change the name of the composer. And we made the game, you know, okay, Van den Boudin Mayer. Because, you know, uh, Christoph and me, we like very much the, the Netherlands. And we spent time, I mean, film in the Netherlands, you know, a documentary movie, City of Life. Uh, and Christoph told me, okay, then let's find any lyrics from Holland, but something very old one who will be no rights for this. And we found that something who called the, yeah, the, I, I don't remember the title in, in Holland, you know. And do uh, uh, water names, I think. And you know, <clears throat> every compose, and Christoph t- told me, no, but we must put him the name. And for us, Van den Budermeyer is like, you know, it's, you know, it's like 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 a Netherlands name. Of course, on the end, of, on the end, you know, uh, we discovered that Van den Budermeyer, the, the, the name like this doesn't exist in the Holland. Maybe somewhere in Belgium. Yeah. And that's it, you know. And this is in the movie number nine, the number nine, is the is the is the is the other part of the film that the guy, the husband is coming and she is listening to music. And she, he asked her what is it? I should wonder put the mayor. She and the answer is okay, nice, very nice. That's it. Listen, after this, the what the what the decalogue was released, Christoph, he received many, many, you know, the question for the encyclopedia. Who is Van der Budermeyer? We must know who you were at Van der Budermeyer. We must know how you discovered Van der Budermeyer. You know, on the end, 
the the encyclopedia from La Rousse. Yeah, sent sure. to we are very serious encyclopedia. Of course, now what? Who is this Van den Who is this guy? <laughs> Then in the double level, Veronique, we will give him, but the Budermeyer, my day of my, of my, of, when I was uh, born, but two years, uh, uh, you know, earlier, there was the 1755. And Christoph asked me, how long you would like to stay in life? I tell him, I think not more like 2004, I will be dead. No, okay, we'll give him that uh, 1804. Yeah. And, and give him the catalog and something. And after this, you know, when the Veronique was released in the album in, 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 in Paris, it was a huge success. You know, the Polish...